James, it's been a difficult start to the season, and obviously defeat again last week weekend. But what have you been working on as a team to overcome this sticky patch? Um, I don't think we're too far off, as, as Jim said in the meetings. Um, I think it's down to ourselves. Um, that's the most frustrating part. It's not as if teams are um, creating so much. I think it's our own errors, really. You know, um, we're letting teams in for soft scores, and we just have to turn that round and get it right and uh, start this Friday. Does the narrow nature of the defeats show that the league's probably more competitive this season than it ever has been? Um, yeah, maybe, possibly. I suppose at World Cup as well, it's a, it's a nice leveller. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's definitely missing players, but a lot of the teams are missing players as well. And uh, we fought well in the summers, and our squad have got to step up, and it's a squad effort at the end of the day. Um, against Sale, there was a lot, of, a lot of nice players from the back, sort of breaking lines, and then when you got close to the line, it just sort of didn't seem to happen for you. Is it frustrating that you're not able to put those finishing touches? Um, of course it is, yeah. Um, but we just have to be patient there. Sometimes we get a bit of too excited when we get up there and we feel like we have to score our first phase or our second phase and sometimes you have to break down teams, especially uh, nowadays this level. Sometimes it's the last 20 minutes of the game when teams break you down. and um, Yeah, that's what we got to look for this Friday. Against Worcester, is it just a case of carry on doing what you've been doing well and try and cut out those mistakes, the indiscipline? Um, yeah, that's that's one factor. Um, discipline's huge this week, especially with uh, Andy Good kicking. He's a, he's a very good, consistent kicker. So um, we can't give away penalties like we have done, and uh, we can't make stupid errors like we have done. And we've talked about it. Lads have held their hands up and sure it's part of rugby, and uh, we're a team, and uh, we just got to get on with it. There's obviously a lot of guys missing, but I'm sure um, yourself and the other senior players in the squad, the new guys, are taking a lot of responsibility on themselves to uh, to not try and shift the blame. Of course, no, sure, it's a it's a team game. Um, if it was an individual sport, then it's different, but it's not. It's a team game and everyone does it together. We win together, we lose together. So it um, just brings it tighter and makes us more determined for this week. On a separate note, I mean, it's Ireland, uh, Scotland against England this weekend. You're obviously a neutral. How do you see that game going? Will you look forward to seeing your teammates in action? <laughs> yeah, that would be good to see them. Like, it's, it's good that I don't really care what happens. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing England lose, to be honest with you, but uh, just for a bit of banter purposes. But uh, nah, yeah, look, I'll keep an eye on it as much as anyone else. Like, but doesn't bother me too much as long as Ireland do alright.